Uh, could you please introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Lillian Berlin from Living Things. How are you doing? I'm good. Recently I saw a picture of you guys in a magazine, music magazine, at uh, South by Southwest, together with James Addiction's uh, Perry Farrell. Yeah. That was wicked. It was a good time. We got to play Mountain Song with Perry. So, somewhere on a little stage, wasn't it? Some yeah, backstage. it was like a it was like a backyard barbecue. Unbelievable. Yeah, it was insane. Yeah, and I've yeah. been a fan for me a, a long time already. Well, yeah, I mean, Jane's Addiction's like responsible for a lot of stuff, so it's like hard to not be a fan, you know. Yeah. Um, especially Perry's responsible for a lot of things. Yeah. You know, so. Cool. Hey, um, living things for people who don't know you guys. Where are you from? What kind of music do you make? Uh, we're from St. Louis, Missouri, and it's the middle of America. Very conservative city, very Republican. I hate it there. <laughs> uh, and the music we make is um, rock and roll with a social consciousness, if rock and roll can have one. I think it's very uplifting music you make. Thank you. Yeah. Appreciate it. Yeah. Got the new single, Bom Bom, Bom Bom Bom. Uh -huh. Great song. Thank you. And it's been played everywhere, isn't it? Yeah, it has, which is a good thing. Still? Yeah, because yeah. it's an anti-war song, so... Is it? Yeah, so it's good to have an anti-war song played everywhere, you know? Exactly, yeah. exactly. Is, is that a message you want to bring over to fans, or...? Well, I mean, the message in that song is, is pretty basic, you know. Uh, it's about... I basically uh, wrote about a, a story of a friend of mine who joined the military at 19 years old, and he uh, wasn't even old enough to drink alcohol in the United States, but he could fire a machine gun and ride a tank out in a foreign country and kill people. Yeah. So I thought it was a very ironic, you know. Um, so I wrote the song about him. Mm. And, uh, you know, for me, it's just sort of educating a lot of kids who are a little bit, you know, younger than me and my brothers who are in my band um, about, you know, the horrors of joining the military and what happens. Because the, the uh, military recruits don't tell you mm -hmm. what happens when you join, yeah. you know, so... You've been playing festivals now for for real the first time in Europe, isn't it? Because yeah, you're a pretty new band. Yeah, we've been uh, out touring for the last two weeks, playing a bunch of festivals, and we're going all the summer. So like it? Yeah, it's a good time, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Where exactly do you really like it the best? Oh uh, God, that's hard. Until now. Yeah, I mean, I really enjoy all of Europe to be quite honest, because it's so different from the United States. It's a lot more open-minded. There's a lot. Uh, the cities have a lot more. Uh, uh, culture to them and you know they look like uh you know they've been cities that have been lived in for hundreds of years whereas the united states is like one big shopping strip you know so <laughs> i don't know i like paris i love amsterdam love berlin cool you played recently a gig in amsterdam yeah we just played in amsterdam we just played in paris and they're both beautiful so cool cool hey uh, is a new single coming up yeah it's called a uh, bombs below uh, what's it about uh it's about uh basically a uh, in America, we've got a prescription pill problem where uh, kids are getting diagnosed with ADD and ADHD yeah. and getting put on um, everything from Ritalin to Prozac. And uh, Ritalin affects your body just like co cocaine does. Mm -hmm. And uh, these kids don't really have a choice. And I was one of those kids. So I wrote about, you know, just being 13 years old what, and what it feels like to be on Prozac, you know, on Prozac, you know and, and, and Ritalin and, and how that affects your system and your mind. Yeah, exactly, because you can get really depressive over it. Very depressed. Right. And the FDA, had, uh, which is the Federal Disease uh, Association of America, Federal Drug Association of America, hadn't even approved it uh, till uh, about two years ago now. So for about two years, it was finally just, they recognize. Yeah, exactly. Jeez, stupid insane. dumbasses, isn't and it? There? Millions of kids hooked on this shit, and we wonder why we've got school killings and exactly. kids with guns. Yeah. And, you know, so that's what the song is about. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, we must have a bit of positivity now. Yeah. Okay. What, what can we expect from the show, the Living Things? Uh, you can expect peace, love, happiness, and um, lots of political banter, but also, you know, we'll. We like to enjoy the human body and sex and 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 you know beauties too. So cool, yeah? yeah, is there a lot of groupies around you guys? Uh, we don't dig that sort of vibe. No, 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 no. we're not into that. We're into very fine, beautiful women. Okay, we oh. don't want any trash. You want class? We want class, not trash. Cool. Put that on a t-shirt. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very right much, on, brother. All right, right. Peace. cool. Cheers.